not even overly protective of his arm. So it shows that the arm has actually healed and he can take part in, 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 in training. So I'm happy. I'm happy to see Moreno back. Uh, unfortunately, we have not seen him since we signed him. He's a midfielder that was going to give us a lot of ability in that midfield. The ball rotation, the quality of pass, height, set pieces, uh, defensively and offensively. We know what Moreno can do on the ball. Very, very good, pa good passer of the ball. Very technical, very smart. He knows how to manage spaces. He knows how to dribble out of tight spaces. He knows how to maneuver the ball. He's going to add a lot of quality. Let's not forget, he'll be made to play. Welcome and welcome to the press. How are we doing this beautiful Tuesday morning? Match day, Champions League. Arsenal hosting PSG uh, in the Champions League at the, at the Emirates. That should be a good game. It should be a very, very good game for Arsenal fans, for PSG fans. And the neutral, so-called neutral. There'll be so much hit along. You know when Arsenal is playing a lot. A lot of people are watching. So before we continue this conversation regarding the match day today and Mirano being back, yes, Mirano is back. Please like the video, very important. Subscribe if you're new here and make sure you turn on your notification bell for those that are back with me the first time. Let me slow the tempo down a little bit. Like the video, subscribe if you're new here and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Yes, Mirano is back. We heard about the unfortunate uh injury he had uh during training a few weeks ago and people were saying he could be out for two months for eight weeks for six months or whatever but we knew the injury was not going to be it was not sideline for that long and we saw him in training yesterday let's not forget during the uh pre-match press conference against leicester as i mentioned that miran was really in partial training so that that gives us that gave us a little bit of hope that it was in partial training but we didn't know marina has come this far now Yesterday, we saw him in full training, even tackling, see the slight tackle against Jesus, the right there. It shows a man that means in a few training sessions, those were someone that just been in partial training last week, then enjoying the real training this week. It looks like a man who has been in some form of contact training for a while. Look at the confidence, that's sliding, that's a sliding tackle. He's not, even, he's not even overly protective of his arm. So it shows that the arm has actually healed and he can take part in, 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 in training. So I'm happy. I'm happy to see Moreno back. Uh, unfortunately, we have not seen him since we signed him. He's a midfielder that was going to give us a lot of ability in that midfield. The ball rotation, the quality of pass, height, set pieces, uh, defensively and offensively. We know what Moreno can do on the ball. Very, very good, pa good passer of the ball. Very technical, very smart. He knows how to manage spaces. He knows how to dribble out of tight spaces. He knows how to maneuver the ball. He's going to add a lot of quality. Let's not forget, we've been made to play Pate for a bit of... Uh, for, for me, personally, Pate has played a bit of too, too many matches uh, based on the Premier League matches and the international endeavors he has had within the last few weeks. For me, has been too much. And we know Pate is still recovering from the surgery he had last time, even though he's getting fitter and fitter. And we can see, obviously, Pate doesn't have the legs, the yeah, the speed, the swiftness, and the movement of, of, of legs he used to have uh, a few years ago. So Pate is getting on with age, let's be real. So we need another midfielder in, in that in, in another mid, uh, personnel that can come in can, can manage minute to pass it unfortunately marino has not been able to do that uh, sorry has not been able to, to do that rather because of the injury sustained in training a while ago i'm happy marino is back now the game against psg today i don't expect marino to start i'll be surprised if he starts i think he will be on the bench we are hearing reports and rumors that he is part of the squad uh that, will, that is going to be available for the psg game but i don't expect him to start if he starts i'll be surprised i'm very surprised but, but i expect to get at least a few minutes depending on the result of the game depending on the game state i expect moreno to get a few minutes if moreno starts on the bench today so i'm happy i feel a lot of Arsenal fans are happy uh the the that I, i'll tell all of you calm down that time when you were overly reacting which i brought in one or two more midfielders it doesn't work like that i like said that time Marino is not dead. It's an injury. He'll come back. Players come back from injuries. Like, there's no overreact to said injury. Injuries are part of the game. I don't know how old most of you are. Like, if you are grown enough and mature enough and says, well, you know, injuries are part of the game. And that, that kind of injury are training. Nobody at it out. Edu is not responsible for that. They don't, they don't plan that. that. It can happen anywhere. So, I'm happy he's back. Hopefully, we'll see him today. So, let's see the guile is going to provide in the midfield. Let's see the tenacity. Let's see some, some height in that midfield. I, I love the composition of the Arsenal midfield these days. The, 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 the guile, the strength, the tenacity, the height. It gives me a lot to expect from. So, let's see. We're going to this match against PSG. It's not going to be a smooth sailing. PSG are a very good team. They are a very, very good team. Let's not take them for granted. Trust me, they are not that individualistic team of a few years ago of Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar. 
they are more of a well-rounded team, good on the ball, good off the ball. Even I think they are better off the ball, but they are very good on the ball. They have some technical players in their ranks. So we cannot take our eyes off the ball. They won their first Champions League match. We drew our first Champions League match. So we have to win at home. It's very imperative. We know how the new format of Champions League has changed. So we have to adjust accordingly and be sensible with this match. Let's not just go gung ho. When we score, let's take it easy. Let's match up with our performance today. PSG, trust me, are a very, very good team. They played six matches in their league. They won five, drawn one. We've played six matches in our league. We've won four, drawn two. So even though we can call the the the, PA, the, the French League, Farmers League, regardless, PSG are a very, very good team. So back to Moreno. I'm happy he's back. Like I said, I don't expect Moreno to start today, but I expect to get some decent minutes depending on the scoreline and the game state of the, uh, of, the uh, of today's game against PSG in the Champions League at home at the Cup. Let me know what you think regarding Moreno being back. Are you, are you optimistic? Are you happy? Let me know. Do you expect him to start or do you expect to start from, from the bench? Let me know in the comment section. And let me know your, your, your prediction towards today's match against PSG. Do you think it will be a very comfortable victory or not? I don't think it will be a comfortable victory, but I see expect us to nick one over PSG. Like the video on your way out, very important. Subscribe if you're new here and make sure you turn on your notification bell. One more time, like the video, subscribe if you're new here and make sure you turn on your notification bell. I'll be expecting your commentary in the comment section. Bye for now. <laughs>